to my channel thank you so much for being here so in today's video i am really excited because i'm bringing you newest hourglass palette the sculpture so we're gonna be talking all about newest release by them this is their holiday palette i'm gonna be doing comparisons within the line and then i'm gonna tell you if i think it's worth the price tag or not if this is your first time here my name is Gigi. thank you so so much for being on my channel i hope you stay subscribed for more hit that red button below and also come over to my instagram because we do a ton of fun things over there that we cannot do in here and without further ado let's just start all right friends holidays are here very exciting times oh my goodness our glasses palette it just reminds me of the holidays every time they come out with their palettes their limited edition they're usually super super hot and i am very excited so this is their sculpture palette and i am really happy that i was able to get my hands on it because it is just very beautiful so i am also happy that they decided not to put a lot of repeats in this palette i believe only a few are repeats and the other are just new shades so that's really good if you're an hourglass fan and you have a lot of their you know single guys then you don't have to worry too much about it uh but we're gonna be breaking down this palette in just a minute price what's in here demo and everything so a little bit about the palette is called the ambient lighting face palette sculptor it retails for 105 dollars and it is a limited edition palette these palettes usually they come for the holidays and they do sell out sometimes they don't bring them back sometimes they do so they are limited edition so um reading of sephora it says it's everything that you need to finish brighten contour and highlight your skin with a single compact ambient lighting added returns with three best-selling shades plus three exclusive for a glowing complexion this limited edition palette contains two finishing powders one bronzer two blushes and a highlighter all formulated with photoluminescent technology to diffuse light and create a flawlessly lit complexion so right, my friends so let's begin and i've got my base done and my eye makeup so i'm ready to put on this beautiful ambient lighting powders by hourglass so this is a really close-up look at the palette it is newest holiday edition by hourglass and i have also here we're gonna be comparing this palette to this one this is the unlocked palette which is a very very popular but is the unlocked and the ghost packaging so the unlocked palette was released in 2018 that was the holiday palette 2018 it was a very very popular palette so they brought it back last year but on this packaging i am so glad they decided to go back to their classy you know packaging like this because this plasticky one is not good anyways let's focus on this palette and i'm going to be taking my refer brush like this and i am going to take this powder here the first one and this is in the shade dim light and dim light is one of my favorite palettes from them i have it in the little guy and i'm going to take that and i'm going to actually mix it with the one beside and i'm going to brighten underneath my eyes And I don't know if you've ever used ambient lighting palettes and these powders, but they are so just, they just attract light to my under eyes. These powders are beautiful. Look at that. I don't know if you can see a huge difference, but in person, I could totally. I love to put these guys underneath my eyes because um, it just blurs all my little fine lines and it brings like the good lighting my other eyes and so it really brightens and open up my eyes um this guy here i believe that one is called um strobe light in glistening i'm going to just swipe my brush on this little towel and i'm going to take that on my t-zone oh that's a beautiful brings very very it's really highlighty that was really really highlighty so i'm just blending 
after we're gonna put that one on my cheeks. So now let's move on to bronzer, which is only one shade that you get here. I'm going to take it on my Sonia um, Soft Cheek. Oh, and this is pigmented. Nice. And this powder just melt. Look at that. It just truly melt onto your cheeks. This looks a little bit reddish, like a lens red. It's not extremely cool tone, but it is a beautiful bronzer nonetheless. And look at that beautiful, soft, blurring, and bronzy effect I just got myself. Hmm. These ambient lighting powders, they're truly special, friends. I really love them. I knew I needed to have this palette every holiday when they release them. I want to try them. So I'm going to put this on one cheek and this one on the other one. So the first one that I'm going to apply is in the shade mood exposure which is already an existing shade by them they have it in their regular um, underline but it is a very neutral oh my god so beautiful Look at that shade, it is very beautiful. I'm gonna switch out brushes and I'm gonna go into the one, uh, the more coral shade. Ooh, these are pigmented. Did you see? Look at that. Look at that glow, you guys. Oh my god. These blushes are very special. Um, we are going to use, I don't know, these powders at top look very subtle for like setting underneath like your eyes, but none of them is overly shimmery. So only this highlighting shade, which I used previously on the, um, on my T-zone, but I think it was too much. So I am actually going to take the first powder and I'm gonna buff. I'm gonna buff my forehead because it's looking quite bright. And same for my nose. Uh, so these finishing powders you can use at the end to just buff everything. Like if you're feeling like your contour and everything is looking too harsh. So why don't we do that? So look at that, it just melts and makes everything very, very seamless and just really natural. Love it. And that was the shade one. Now I'm going to take the highlighter with this more precise Sonia brush and I'm going to put that at top of my cheekbones. And this is a more um pinky highlighter it doesn't have much gold in it which is my preferred kind of highlighter but if you're more fair i think it's going to be complementary to you if you're deeper i don't know this is the problem with our glass we have asked for inclusivity for the longest time but you know like it is a beautiful highlighter it looks very natural it really just attracts light it is a so so natural so these are all the shades in action my friends this is the more neutral side and this is the more coral side 
I knew I was gonna love this palette. All right, so let me just finish off my makeup. I'm gonna put some lipstick and stuff, and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna talk about these palettes, and we're gonna do some, a little bit of comparisons and uh, swatches. All right, friends, so makeup is all completed, and you guys, these powders just make you a walk-in filter. You won't see a pore on your face if at the end you just buff everything. It's just, a, they're just a truly, truly beautiful powders. But so now, I don't think it is as dark as the Unlocked. For some reason, all the powders here, the ones that you use to buff or to like highlight underneath your eyes, these are more um, medium to tan friendly. I found that the ones in here are just a little bit lighter than I would like. So this is a look at them side by side. You can clearly see that the Unlocked um, has all these setting powders that are really just like neutral and more like as I said medium tan friendly the ones at top here are just just really light so I love this palette I think all the powders work really well with me and my complexion I did feel like this powder was a little bit too light so I had to mix it with the shade beside it to you know to not be super white but if you're um you know just fair and medium it's gonna work for you well if you are more on the tanner side and deeper side i don't think you know those um finishing powders are gonna work too much for you just especially the middle sheet is just quite light so when it comes to comparisons within you know our glass and whatever they have going on this is one of my favorites from them you get all these beautiful setting powders and in here you have you have dim light which is as I mentioned this one here and it's one of my favorites really because it is the perfect tone for my medium complexion so it is nice to actually have dim light in the palette I'm not mad about it um, I don't own any of those two blushes as I said um, I believe this is a new shade and this one is a Reaper Moon I have a diffuse heat um, as a single and it looks very similar to um, that one over there, but they're not called the same. So this is Diffuse Heat, which is the, the coral that I have. It looks quite light on my, you know, as a swatch, but when I put it on my cheeks, it's not the same. And that's uh, from the new palette. So not really, you know, it looks a little bit more coral and diffuse heat looks a little bit more pink. You know, these shades by them, depending on the veining that they've got, they're gonna look lighter or darker. Now let's move on to swatches. So I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer because these are really hard um, to show up. So we're gonna try to swatch right here. So let's do it. I'm gonna swatch the first shade and it is a beautiful neutral pinky tone again that's the one that you want to use to buff your makeup then that's the super super light shade that I was talking about I could not use that one all by itself I felt like when I used it it was too much so I had to mix it with this one to make it work so now this is the highlighter it is very beautiful as you can see very natural but at the same time it really shows up quite nice now moving down into the bronzer this is the bronzer and i am going to swatch the unlocked bronzer beside it just in case you were curious about how dark the bronzers are so you can see the Unlocked is way more neutral and just lighter. This is from the new palette and it's more red. Um, and it is quite, it is more pigmented than the Unlocked, which is actually really good. So if you have more of a deeper complexion, you can expect uh, this bronzer to be uh, darker than the one in the Unlocked. Now let's move on to, let my watch. I'm gonna do the blushes up here. Let me do the blush. So this is the coral blush. And this is the more, oh, where is that shade? The more neutral. 
so you know these are our glasses blushes they don't really swatch all that well but you saw the pigmentation and how pretty they look on your cheeks and I am a glowing girl look at that so I just wipe those swatches I want to swatch the blushes in the unlocked so this is the blush that you get in the unlocked the middle one and now let's do that one which is the more neutral blush so these are the two blushes in the unlocked and now this is the coral and then this is the more neutral in the sculptor palette so totally different shades on those um, two palettes but now I do want to point out that if you were thinking about only the little palette and you never got your hands on the unlocked the unlocked 2018 palette that palette is a mini of this one so they picked out four shades from here and then transferred that into the little palette the four pan palette sculpture I didn't pick that up because I already have the unlocked I don't need a mini version but if you didn't get your hands on the unlocked uh, you can totally get the four pen palette and that's again just a mini version of uh, the unlocked. These ambient lighting powders they are truly truly beautiful they're blurring they make you look just absolutely perfected you look like a walking filter I thought that highlighter that highlighter was not you know like strong enough it isn't anything metallic it looks very natural even on the swatches but look at my face like I am a glowing girl so I really love this palette I think that if you have fair complexion it's gonna work beautiful for you if you have medium complexion it will as well if you have more of a tan and deep complexion the only problem I see is the middle shade that shade was a little bit too white for me even I had to mix it with the next shade to make it work I thought it was too much whenever I put it underneath my eyes but you could truly see that lightning effect and that you know it really attracts light to your under eyes and I love that about these powders these you can use once you have all your makeup done just as a buffing to really diffuse all products you know that you just applied and make them look very natural you can really see a big difference on the pink and the coral side they're just a very stunning blushes so now the bronzer in this palette leans a little bit more red as you saw uh, but it was so beautiful nonetheless you saw how it blended very very beautiful palette very beautiful product i think these are must have products remember they're limited edition so if you wanted to get your hands on it uh, make sure to do so because sometimes when they sell out they don't really bring them back so to me buying this palette was a hundred percent worth it i don't have any other holiday palettes from them only the unlocked so we don't even have repeats within these two guys which is really nice so it is always nice to have everything in one palette if you take this guy you know you can set your under eyes set all over your face you can highlight contour and blush everything in one palette that is amazing all right friends and that was it for today thank you so so much for hanging out let me know in the comments down below what do you think of this palette the application everything comparisons are you thinking about picking this guy up or are you just gonna skip on it i would love to know your thoughts and opinions i thank you so so much for your love and support my friends to don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!